Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and I want to talk about this whole G4 thing. I wasn't going to uh, really talk about it, but it happened, and you know, hey, why don't we talk about it? You know what I mean? So, we're going to talk about it, you know? And I just think that it's kind of crazy how everything just kind of happened right now with this whole um, Frost Kieran character like she wanted to take a stand with this sexism in video games and i have a big problem when it comes to that kind of stuff like you know there's a time and a place for it it was not the time nor the place for it and I, i'm about real tired of people thinking that they can get on their little high horses especially in the entertainment business places where you know people buy or have to watch or support your stuff. I don't know why some people think that, hey, it's okay for you to, you know, get on your high horse, say what you have to say, talk about whatever you want to, and then, you you know, criticize, criticize me for not liking whatever's going on or whatever you think it is. Like, you're supposed to be talking about Red Dead Redemption Online. And instead, you're talking about some sexism in video gaming. Are you freaking kidding me right now? And I I just don't understand G4. You're supposed to be making a comeback. No, a lot of people didn't even realize that you had came back, you know, since you've been gone for a long time. And this is most people's first exposure to you. You know what I mean, G4? And this is what you were promoting? Okay, sure. So let's get into what she's talking about. In gaming. In joining G4. Yes! This is not where I thought we were going, I know, but I'm no, here. I have I'm no here. idea. I'm listening. Yeah. In joining G4, I was ecstatic to be part of something that I grew up watching as a child. But every time G4 is brought up in various channels, even in this YouTube channel, we have the chat in front of us. I can see you. Without a doubt, there will be backlash because I'm not as bangable as the previous host. I mean, you can't get mad that people don't find you attractive. Just like you don't like men. You like women. You made it known that you're a straight lesbian. We get it. You like women too, just like we do. So you can't get mad that Men don't find you bangable. You don't like men. You don't like dick. So what you complaining about? If you don't like that stuff, why are you complaining? I, I, make it make sense. Sorry that you, you're not attractive enough to straight men. Since remember, most of the audience is straight men. Sorry you don't like it, but that's just how the world is. Nobody asks to look at Justin Bieber as a female. Don't nobody want that. I'm sorry. Don't nobody, don't, nobody asks for that. Now, I don't know what the context of this really is, but it is what it is, to be honest. Sorry. It's somehow. Talk to him, Frost. It has somehow been expected. Then you got this loser over here, the black Hokage over here talking about talk to him, Frost. She's talking about you too, dumb dumb. She's talking about men in general. So why would you want her to even be talking like that? Somebody actually should have stopped her. It, to be honest, like, I know I would have. I definitely would have. But that's just my opinion. You know, like, come on now. What, what, are, what are we doing right now here? Like, it, it's crazy. It, it, it is literally crazy how we're sitting up here cheering this on no we shouldn't be cheering this on there's there's a time and a place for this but what she's doing is highly inappropriate and highly disrespectful expected that you can talk about how much you jerked off to women as a compliment That's it's not weird. a compliment it's, weird. it's dehumanizing first off men do don't talk to other women about jerking off to them that's weird anyway and most men don't talk about jerking off to women anyway. You know what I'm saying? We might say, oh, yeah, she looks good enough to smash a fuck or whatever and stuff like that. Or, or she's beautiful. I wouldn't mind, you know, getting with her. 
but we wouldn't be talking like that. And the only reason why you would know that is because you don't like men, so they treat you like a man, and they probably talk about men things around you, and you don't like it. Just probably like how you probably rub your, um, you know, tinkle your your clitoris, and and squirt to your wife or to an other women. So don't pretend like this is some brand new exploit. Talking about it's weird. What's weird? What's weird? The only weird thing is if somebody sit up there and admit that to you, but nobody, you wouldn't know that unless you was talking to somebody who mentioned it, or you went online and you found some kind of weird little pervy site or something like that. That's the only reason why you should know that. So I'm trying to figure out why are we even talking about this? You know what I mean? So it's, it's weird that you even brought that up. And it's weird. Women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn did not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Well, that's where you're wrong, actually. They actually did exist for for us, to be honest, because G4's audience, viewing audience, was around the ages of 12 to 43. That was a demo. That was that was the demographic. Sorry you don't like the facts. Olivia Munn, um, Morgan Webb, Christina Adams, which is another woman that we keep forgetting about, um, who was very popular at the time too. They had bodies. They had bodies. They looked it good, and they knew what they they knew what they were talking about. Yes, yeah, sometimes we don't agree with them, but they were hot women. You know, hot women who actually were into video games and into the tech, into the geek stuff. You you know, back in the day, you didn't see many women into that kind of stuff. And nobody's saying that women women couldn't have been into that kind of stuff. But when you see gorgeous women on air talking about video games and understanding video games, just like us guys who understand video games, that is something really crazy. You know what I'm saying? That is something really amazing. Yeah, G4 knew exactly what they were doing when they hired Olivia Mon, Morgan Webb, and Christina Adams. They they knew they knew that those women were gorgeous and they knew those women would bring in the views. Like don't get me wrong, you know, I didn't really I didn't I mean, don't get me wrong. There were moments where you look at those women you're like, "Damn, those women are hot and those are the women that I wish I could get." You you know what I'm saying? Like have a woman that is into the same thing as me and being hot like that. You know what I'm saying? That's like a dream come true for almost any guy. And you can't get mad at somebody wanting that or whatever or asking where Olivia Mon is, where's Morgan Webb, where's Christina Adams, because G4 usually have a good looking, some, I mean, an average looking guy and a woman, a gorgeous woman. And they don't have it for the, the shows that have come back. We got women that look frumpy. We got women that look fat as hell. And we got women that look, that look like Justin Bieber wannabes and are into other women. Okay, cool. But did you ever think about if that's the case and you're into and you're you're all about diversity and inclusion? Okay, what what lesbian you know want to look at an ugly woman? Don't you think they want to find a woman attractive too? Because that's that's my thing that gets on my nerves is when people when women in general always complain about they want to be treated um, equally and then you get treated equally and you don't like it or then you want to come into a male dominant area and then the man changes and it doesn't work like that you cannot come in and demand changes just because just because you feel uncomfortable that's I, I, i'm sorry to tell you that that's a you problem that's an insecurity on you but matter of fact why do you even care you don't like men you are into women so it doesn't matter that men are objectifying or saying that you're not appealing. You shouldn't even care because you don't like men. Make that make sense. Hey, she cooking, y'all. And that's just <laughs> obvious. And then this fool over here talking about she cooking, cooking y'all. No, she's cooking all of y'all. She's cooking, she's cooking Gerard, who looked like he didn't even deserve this shit. Black Hokage simp bitch beta male and Adam ho ass over there. Like she's talking about men in general, stupid. Why cooking y'all? You don't you don't want her to be cooking us because if she cooking us, then we walk away from this shit. 
and y'all need us to watch. Dum dums. God. Sexism. You don't need to explicitly objectify women or declare that you hate women to be sexist. Just go ahead and check out Thorne's latest meltdown on Twitter for some spark notes. Now, here at X-Play, our reviews are written and produced by a team of people. There are too many games for one person to shoulder the burden. That's a lie. That That is definitely a lie. We have too many YouTube channels out here today. There are too many YouTube channels out here today that's ran by one person that sits up there and review every game that comes out for almost every console. So don't give me that. Do not give me that bull crap. I'm not trying to hear that dumb shit. That, no, no, no. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. I'm really not trying to hear that right now because that's an excuse to neglect, I mean, reflect, I mean, uh, deflect criticism from some of your bad hot takes. I've seen some of your reviews and I've seen you talk about video games. Some of your takes are hot messes. And to me, it feels like you don't know video games like you say you do. And people are going to criticize you. But don't sit up here and be like, oh, it takes a whole team of us. We divide and conquer all the kind of because it's too many. No, 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 no. That's the problem with you gaming journals of today. You guys are lazy ass fuck. When it comes to getting games out, reviewing them, y'all always complain about it's either too easy, it doesn't have this, blah, 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 blah. And I'm talking about trivial shit. Not not even just like game-breaking bugs or something like that. They were complaining. No, they're complaining about, oh, how come this character's not LGBT? How come this character's not black? Or how come this character's not Latino? How come this character's not female? You know what I'm saying? Y'all complain about dumb stuff like that or... Oh my God, the game is too difficult. I can't finish in in eight, in eight hours. Well, get better at gaming. You wanted to do this. You wanted to do gamings, and now you want to complain about it as being is too difficult. I don't even understand that to me. That don't even make no logical sense. So we divide and conquer. And when we use language like we or I, that's the reviewer. That's coming from the mouth and experience of the reviewer reading that review. And that's not to say that Gerard, TBH, Adam, or myself don't contribute to the reviews. We absolutely do. But it'll always be in varying degrees and take a whole team behind us. That's why we're X play and not Adam play. We have done the experiment and controlled for the variables. Adam will read a script written by the same writer that I will read the other half of the script for, but I'll be the one flamed. And yeah, it also happens to Gerard and TBH. Okay, so if it happens to them, why are you complaining then? If it happens to the guys, why are you complaining? That's my thing that gets on my nerves. Stop complaining. You're getting the same criticism that Gerard, Black Hokage, and Adam Sessler is getting in. You just sit there and admit that you get the same criticism as them. Okay, if you're getting the same criticism as them, shut the hell up. You can't, you can't state that it's sexism. You know what I'm saying? No. You're mad because most people are criticizing you on your bad take because at least with Gerard, at least with Black Hokage, and at least with Adam Sessler, we've seen them play video games. We've seen them in the YouTube sphere. And I mean, well, Black Hokage and um, Gerard, I mean, I've never really seen Black Hokage before. This is the first time I've ever seen his loser ass. But Gerard, we know he's a completionist. Adam Sessler from G4 years ago when I was watching. So we know that these people got it. I ain't never heard of you. I ain't never seen you before. And you come off, you come off obnoxious. You come off bitchy. You come off like you don't really know what you're talking about. Like you're, it feels like they hired you out of diversity inclusion reasons. And don't tell me that that's not what they did. Yeah, they did. They hired her because she was a, she was a lesbian. That was it. And they didn't want to bring any, any beautiful women on the show because if they did, they would have definitely found some attractive women who play video games because there are some gorgeous women out there who are really into video games who do know their stuff that g4 definitely could have got you got gerard but you didn't get you didn't get a popular um female youtuber who are who's actually into video games who can bring in views like come on that, that don't even make no damn logical sense who is actually gorgeous get out of here with that nonsense but that doesn't discount the sexism of how it happens to me when it does 
Both things can be true, that there is a general hatred of any change that isn't Adam, and that all receive special flame just for being a woman. And I wish I could turn the camera around so that you could see the incredible team that make X play. But then the thing is, okay, <laughs> okay, but you have to understand, we are used to certain people on X play. You're you're coming into a legacy, right? You can't get mad that people want to see Olivia Mon, want to see Morgan Webb, want to see Christina Adams, want to see all the other girls on there because they're used to those women on there. And then they bring in some brand new people that some of us are not familiar with. And then not to bring in any any familiar woman on the show doesn't make any logical sense. Like, yeah, that's great and all, but you have you you should have you should have I don't know how you should have convinced Christina Adams you should have convinced Olivia Mon you should have convinced Morgan Webb to return I don't care what you had to do to pay them but you should have brought them back on the show you can't get mad that people want the old yes I understand changes have to happen but if you're not going to bring in somebody that's at that level as those women then what what was the point. I'm sorry, I don't need to see a woman on there that is just another dude on there. I'm sorry. If that's the case, we can I can watch other gamers who just have nothing but dudes on there and review video games. You know what I mean? What are you doing to keep our entertainment? Because again, y'all been off the air for a while and YouTube done grow. There are people like PewDiePie, Angry Joe, um, Young Yeah, you know, um, Skill Up. You know, even Young Ripper, Geeks and Gamers, um, who, uh, god dang, it's a, it, it, it's another, it's another, it's, it's a, it's a, um, uh, Mikey J TV, you know, just, a, just to name a few people who actually do this stuff, who actually sit up there and play the video games, record it and stuff like that, and actually do it by themselves, and they edit by themselves, and yes, the editing takes all day, but they get it done. So I don't want to hear this nonsense. I'm sorry that you don't like the fact that people don't want to jerk off to you. But again, why should it even matter? You don't like men. You like women. And if I was a, a woman who is into women and I'm watching this, I'd be like, Darren, where the hot females at? Two, just like I'm quite sure there are some LGBT guys that be like, where are the hot um, men at? There are there are a decent amount on there, but not enough. Shoot, if it was me and I re and I was doing G four, yeah, I would have brought back Adam Sessler. I would have brought back Morgan Webb, Olivia Mon, Christina Adams, and the um the other guy from Attack on uh, Attack on Show or whatever. I got goddamn, I'm drawing a blank on his name. But of course they would have came. But we would have also brought in some attractive people, some attractive people that looked like they could have been um they could have been on OnlyFans or uh, models because you got to, but they. And they actually have to understand video games. There are people who are actually good looking, beautiful people who are good looking that are into video games. And you need that kind of stuff because guess what? This is a visual media. I um, don't understand why people think that they can just drop some butt ugly person in front of the camera and then think that they can just preach and uh, preach to the audience and think they can do their job. No, no. Turn that shit off. I'm sorry. That's not how this works. I'm and besides, I'm not in a professional setting, so I don't have to worry about me. But I know if I was going on TV, I'd be trying to get a I'll get a trainer, and I would look like Superman before my first airing. You know, we I got six months to get in shape or whatever, and I bet you I get I get in the best shape of your life and make sure I look good on camera. Because you you need to you you gotta entice people with something and don't sit there and pr try to pretend like uh, Olivia Mom Morgan Webb and them didn't know what they were there for at first. Yeah, they they were there for the eye candy stuff, but they were also likable, adorable, dorkable, up for anything, and they were game for anything. And it seems like you're not. Half of our producers and writers are women: Emily, Abby, Megan, Joe, Jake, Zipper, Gabby. 
It goes on and on and on. Former writers that are now on ATOS like Vanessa. When you're in our DMs or on those YouTube comments or in Twitch chat right now, those reactionary threads thinking that I'm somehow ruining your current X-Play experience because you can't objectify me how you previously did to Morgan or that I'm somehow less qualified to speak on something but you can't quite put your finger on why even though I'm reading the exact same script as Adam but you have no problem with he's part of it. You're letting... Again, you can't get mad that people are criticizing you. Maybe it's the way you deliver your line. Maybe it's the way you had said something. Adam, um, the Adam, the Black Hokage, and Gerard, they all get the same criticism as you. So you can't use that excuse as, oh, we're only doing it because you're a female. No, that's not how that works. We're doing it because you probably said the way you delivered the line probably didn't make no sense. And stuff like that but now you're trying to throw these writers under the bus be, and it's kind of showing that you don't have a thought of your own because you don't like the criticism you get and so you have to throw your writing staff under the bus because if i was a writer i'd be like nah i ain't writing nothing for you frost because you complained about the way it was written or whatever and stuff like that and then that again editors that's what they're there for and again that's why you proofread before you go on camera and read this kind of stuff you had no problem saying this, but you can't you can't talk you can't talk differently when you're reviewing your games. You can't be this passionate when you're talking about video games or having a bad opinion and you and fans call you out. Remember, you're on YouTube. You're going to get criticism. You don't like it, there's the exit. Leave. You know, at this point, I'm so tired of it. Your unconscious biases ruin my day and you're gatekeeping the gaming space. Gate gatekeeping isn't that what you're doing by trying to lecture and tell people what they better not what they can't do it doesn't make logical sense you can't have it both ways either you want to be treated equally or you don't it doesn't really matter because guess what if this was an all-female thing and stuff like that and the, the way gerard and adam sessler looking i bet you females be like damn why they didn't get so no good some good looking men would you think that Gerard and Adam Sessler would sit up there and be like, um, I just want to take a moment to tell you guys that you guys are being sexist to, towards men? Like, come on now. And whatever the misogynist word for females who hate men, that's what you are at this point. Because I get tired of women thinking it's okay for them to lecture men about what's wrong with them or what they're not allowed to do. And then when a man do it, it's a problem. No, it don't, it don't work like that, baby. I'm sorry to tell you that. It don't work like that. So maybe for 2022, we'd be a bit nicer, a bit more self-reflective, and we enjoy the fact that people are working hard to make free content for you. No, you're making content to get a paycheck, stupid. We know why you came back, because y'all need money, because the company who owns G4 needs money and needs us to watch it so you guys can promote stuff, so you guys can put the ads on there. So you can get our time out of watching and listening to this stuff. No, you're not doing this out of the kindness of your heart. You're not doing it like what me, Dazzling Kate, Dylan, you know what I'm saying? You're not doing you're not doing it because you're not doing it for free or whatever, because we're doing the stuff for free. We're putting out the content for free and we're not getting paid at all. So no, but you're getting paid. So let's let's be clear. You're not doing this out of the kindness of your heart. Like I am. I'm doing it because I just want to throw out some opinions. I don't I don't don't seek to um, become famous or anything. If it happens, it happens. That's great. But I'm not about to harp on it. But at the same time, I know what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm making yes, I'm making a lot of free content for everyone. I make a lot of free content of artwork on Instagram too. I'm not making a dime out of my out of my artwork. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to hear that somebody that's on a professional TV that got hired professionally and gets a paycheck professionally complaining about y'all doing free content for us. No, you're not. No, you're not. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Peace. See, that's what I'm talking about. And then here comes the crux of what's really pissing me off with this bitch. Here she go trying to tell somebody, if you don't like it, don't watch it. Haven't we heard this comment before? If you don't like it, don't buy it. Or don't support it, don't watch it, or any of that nonsense. We've heard it plenty of times. Then y'all get mad when we walk away from this stuff. You cannot tell your people 
You cannot tell your fan base. You cannot tell potential customers that if you don't like what I got to say, if you don't like what I stand for or whatever, don't watch, don't support, don't buy it, my stuff. It doesn't make sense, especially from coming from an ugly dwarf bitch. I'm sorry. Yet I'm pissed me the hell off at this point. I'm so sick of everybody thinking they can tell somebody, if you don't like it, don't watch it. You're in a professional setting. You need to make money because you need us to buy this stuff. If you if we didn't buy this stuff, then you'll be in trouble. If we didn't watch this stuff, you want to have a job. Just like if people weren't supporting you on your platform, you want to have this platform. So stop telling people if you don't like it, don't buy it, don't watch it or whatever. That is so stupid and so disrespectful. I really hate when people do that. Y'all got to stop that nonsense. It's embarrassing. And then when G4 ends up being canceled or again, again, then y'all be looking like, oh, it's because the fans. No, it wasn't because the fans of nothing. It's because you had a dumb bitch on, on L saying something that was not relevant at the time. Could you have did a segment? Sure. But there's a time and a place for it. That was not the time nor the place. You guys are supposed to be doing video game journalism. You're supposed to be talking about video games. That ending, that's the problem with to, with today's video game journalists. They complain about the work. Oh my God, this game is so hard. I can't finish it and blah, 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 whatever and blah, 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 blah. But didn't have enough nerve to get on air and try to tell people how wrong they are about their opinions or feelings. That doesn't make any logical sense. So how about this? If you don't like people that, if you don't like people's opinions and if you don't like the fact that people don't want to jerk off to you, guess what? Ignore just like you can't change anybody's opinion. Just like I can't change anybody's opinion when they're on my live stream, or I can't change I can't change what Dylan or Kate says when they're on on my channel. It is what it is. It happens. We've all gotten said terrible things. I've gotten said terrible things on my YouTube channel, on my Instagram channel as well. Let's not pretend like this is something. That, hell, I was even trending on Twitter before one time, and I don't even have a Twitter. So you already know it's crazy when you get trending on a, on Twitter when you don't even have a Twitter. Ain't that crazy? But it is what it is. But I never once complained about it because it happens. Life happens. And you need to understand how that works. But complaining about it and telling people how wrong they are for it doesn't help anything. It makes you look bad at the end of the day. And it hurts G4. But what you did is downright disrespectful. And I'm sorry, your ears ugly. Your personality ugly. You, you ugly in general. If you really want to do, you need to be presentable. How about this? Put some weave on or put a wig on. Put some makeup to cover up them ugly ass tattoos. Wear a dress. Put a push-up bra on and look like a presentable female. How about that? If you really, it, it, since you want to talk stuff, let me give you some piece of advice. This is a male-dominant world, all right? Especially when we're talking about video games. Most people that play video games are men and straight men at that. Don't nobody want to see ugly, frumpy women. They don't. And don't nobody want to... And nobody wants to see um, a woman that has a bad attitude that tries to lecture everybody and try to tell them to stay in their place, to stay in their lane, and then expect somebody to support them. No, it doesn't work like that. Sorry, you don't like it. There are other there there are other places that you can go that you know you can rant to or whatever. But if you don't like it, get off the internet, get out of G four. There's there's the door. Don't let it hit your way on. Don't let it hit hit your way. Uh, don't let it hit you on your way out. But what you did, unacceptable. And I'm about tired of this argument about sexism in video games. I really am. I am over it. Because it's people like you that actually gatekeep the industry without even realizing that you're doing it. Because you come in here and you complain about every little thing and everything needs to be changed according to your feelings, your wants, and your needs. And then you get mad that people don't want to support that nonsense. You can't get mad at that. That's something that you brought on your own. But it is what it is. And if I was G4, this ain't the best way. Like, y'all two months into this into this, this premiere of y'all's and y'all trying to get back on top. 
you can't have people like her saying dumb shit like that. It's unacceptable and it needs to stop. I don't care what the reason is. I don't care. I don't really, I don't care if it's coming off sexist or whatever and stuff like that. But she was being sexist too, admitting that she hates men too. Lecturing men like they need some. No, 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 baby. You can lecture them beta, them beta males, but you ain't going to um, lecture me about nothing because I ain't no bitch. I'm going to let you know how it is and how it's going to be. This is a male dominant area. Men want to see good looking women. Sorry, you're ugly to most people. Get over it. Make yourself attractive then. If you don't like it, oh well. Again, exit over there. But you're not about to sit up here and interrupt stuff talking about sexism in video game. No, nah, no. Nah. Save that for the companies that be doing that nonsense. I, I find it funny y'all try to call out the fans for that stuff, but y'all will never call out a company for it. When a company does it, ooh, ooh, crickets, crickets. But y'all have no problem trying to call us us fans out. No, nah, you don't met you don't you don't lost your damn ever loving mind. Frost current, you can go on somewhere. You can go on somewhere. I'm sorry. You you can definitely go on somewhere. This was not the time nor the place for for it. And G4, I don't know what the hell y'all was thinking. Because now you got now you got people, it's creating a lot of backlash. And if I was y'all, Frost, Karen, need to apologize. You need to apologize. That's that's the best thing. Apologize and take a leave of absence for a little bit. And G4, bring in somebody hot. You need somebody. You need somebody hot because, again, there are too many channels that does it better and have been doing it better than y'all have. I'm sorry. That's not how this is going to work. You better bring in some, some good-looking people at this point if you really want to keep this going. And you need some people who are game for anything that don't ha that don't talk about their political bull crap in, in the reviews or any of that nonsense like Adam was doing uh, in some of them. I was like, bruh. Are you kidding me right now? This is a review. Time and place. Time and place. And y'all need to sit down as a team and realize that what, what Frost did, what Adam's been doing, unacceptable. Unacceptable. So you better figure out something. Or you might be crashing and burning by year's end. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Send what you guys think. Comment below. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.